Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought another interesting session which is on web scraping using Python. So web scraping is used for mainly collecting the data from the web, web page. So if you see like the data will be unstructured format in the website and uh, for uh, for analyzing the data uh, through Python we can organize the data and make it in more structured format. Uh, so let us see how can we get the data from web page using web scraping. So for this we need to import couple of modules called import request. This is nothing but API module calling the APIs. So I have already installed this uh, module so you can install it using pip. Uh, command then you need to install beautiful soap this is nothing but this is for uh, converting the data into more structured format from vs4 import beautiful soap okay let us see uh, what i'm going to do is like i will be uh, navigating to a I will be navigating to this path and I need some stock data for a particular uh, stock okay so let us see how can we get it so I will be navigating to this URL so URL equal to this is my URL now uh, you can always check whether you can access because almost all uh, because all the websites are not allowing this web scraping so once you get uh, you can connect once you connect and get the response of 200 that is like uh, connection okay that means like you are allowed to uh, do the web scraping for that web page response equal to request start get url print response let us see what response are we getting? Okay, uh, it will be in caps. Beautiful soap will be in caps. B will be in caps. Yeah. See, response two hundred means yes. I uh, I was able to connect it and I got a successful response from the server. Now next. Uh, now I will be parsing the HTML and I will be. So, so that I can convert the data into more structured formats. For that, I'm going to just like soap equal to beautiful soap response dot ext from a HTML parser. Okay. Now, what I need is like I need the data for this live data. What is the live data for this in NSE? So for this what I need to do, I need to go to inspect on this page. Let me find that value 2042 where it is. 2042.20 Not this. Yeah. This, the, this is the thing so what I'm going to dislike it's a span class module so what I need to do I need to go for the same thing in my code span equal to soap dot find so span module then what I'm going to do is like that cl attribute class class and what was that? This particular thing I need. I need, I don't need anything, I need only the NSC part. NSC span price wrap. Print value of 
TCS talk span dot txt. Okay. Similar way, I will get the percentage also. What's the percentage of change? So it will be here only. This is my percentage of change, which is nothing but uh, this this one. What's the percentage? What's the change in amount and the what's the percentage? So let's see. So this is the same thing in span. Then uh, what is the element? Let me copy that element. Let me paste it. So I need this NSE span price change percent. Up to here I need to copy. Changing percentage. So let us see when I'm in the program. Beautiful service not defined. Okay. B. Here it will be HTML uh, dot parser. Sorry. So let's run the code once again. Yep. If you see the value of the stock is 204120 and change in percentage of the TCS stock is 6.90. Or let us uh, see. The data is almost matching. If you see here, it's uh, 2.204220 and 6.90 and 034%. This is how we can uh, perform web scrapping and we can uh, collect as much data as possible from the uh, web page so guys i will be posting more such videos so if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching